What's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. Now today is a little bit of a different video. So you guys know the notorious Ryan Hollins. Uh, uh, LeBron James, the greatest player ever? Ever. What about Michael and Kobe? So you just gonna pass Kobe up like that? I'm gonna I'm I'm pass Kobe up. I'm gonna fill or Michael Jordan fill LeBron's shoes. The impact that he's had with different teammates. AKA he be smoking something. He's had some very controversial opinions. Now I'm very curious to ask him a question for myself. So I actually just submitted a cameo request for him because he's on there. And he's probably had so many people asking him stuff, but I generally want to ask him a question. What I'm asking him is who is the GOAT? And I want him to give me a top five. And then I'm going to see what he says. I have seen what he said on first take, but personally, I want to see what he says right now. He's a very peculiar guy. And that, that makes me very curious to see what he does, you know. So we'll see what he says. The next day. So last night I received the request, but I thought I'd save it for the following day. And he's actually done the question. So let's see what Ryan Holland said. Yo, 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 what's going on, man? It's your man Ryan Hollins, 10 year NBA veteran, uh, ESPN analyst. And I got, man, we, we, listen, man, we, we got an announcement for you guys. We're going to do something. I want to see how you guys feel right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give out an NBA. Uh, top five, NBA top five. Uh, starting at number one, it, it shouldn't surprise any of you guys to check it out. The man has been playing out of his mind of late. Uh, before this hiatus hit, uh, he, he he got busy. He put that work in. I'm talking about none other than the man who took his throne back, the king, LeBron James. LeBron James, the best player in the NBA right now. He gave it to Kawhi Leonard. He gave it to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um... What have you done for me lately? We're giving that to LeBron James. Now, coming in at number two, I'm going to go with the man who had been doing his thing all season long. I'm going to credit him. I'm not going to take it away. Uh, I am going to go with Giannis Antetokounmpo, at least for the season being right now. Now, this is tough because the better player, I think, in my mind is Kawhi Leonard. But Kawhi Leonard, you're going to come in at number three. Okay? We mm. got some questions that are help. We got to see if you still LeBron, Giannis, Kawhi. I still think you can get busy, brother. And he's not a notch away from being number one, okay? But he lost that throne. Kawhi Leonard's going to be number three. The quiet, the fun guy, the assassin. Now, number four in the league, and this is only because of injury, only because we haven't seen him too much lately. He's an MVP candidate. He really came out of nowhere to do his thing. And I'm talking about none other than that boy, baby face assassin, Luka Doncic. We, the most skilled 20-year-old. that Seeing Luka Doncic is four. In the NBA. So Luka okay. Doncic is going to come in at number four. And then number five, that's where number five gets wide, wide open. Uh, wide open. Uh, we're going to have, I, I almost feel like number five is by committee. Uh, we, we could go James Harden. We could go Westbrook. We could go Lillard. Um, I don't think there's just one, one guy right He's now. He's putting Doncic over Lillard. Davis. No, wait. You know, and, and, and I, and I want to say what, what AD has done this season, he's likely going to be the defensive player of the year. I think it's fair to say that AD edges those guys out by a little bit. Uh, shout out Shimon. Appreciate you, brother, man. Keep supporting. Keep repping, brother. Thank you for the love and the support, man. And keep up the good work, man. See y'all soon. He said some crazy stuff on first take, but Ron at one... Giannis at two, quiet three. Okay, that's fair. Doncic, I thought, I mean, Doncic is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but he's not a top five player. Like, Collins has just said that Doncic is better than AD, Dame, PG-13. Fair enough for this season, yeah. I kind of asked him something else. I wanted him to tell me who's the GOAT all time, but he didn't exactly tell me that. And I reckon he may have avoided my question because... He doesn't want to get in loads of shit again. Kobe Bryant couldn't fill, or Michael Jordan fill LeBron's shoes. The impact... And who's the GOAT in the NBA? That's obviously the greatest of all time, but he just told me this top five in the NBA right now, which, I, which is not really what I asked for. He's done it on first take, and he probably doesn't want to create that crazy debate again. LeBron is still the best player in the league. I believe so. The question the most is definitely Luka Doncic. Now, no disrespect to Doncic. He should be at five... Maybe, even though I said he shouldn't be in the top five. But he's got he's in the top ten without a doubt. But 
there's so many players that you can say that are better at him just based on their experience and how they've taken the league. And Doncic has been insane. I mean, triple doubles, the way he's played. Yeah, but I don't think Doncic is a top five player yet. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't see him as that right now. He's still very young and he's got a lot to do. A very great future with him going, uh, going forward into the NBA and the playoffs in the future. I'm very shocked that he's picked Doncic. I mean, respect that he, fair play, he picked Doncic, but surely AD over that, man. Come on, AD is coming to the Lakers and he's completely changed the team. LeBron as well, yeah, but LeBron won't be doing it without AD, let's be honest. Last season, I would have said Kawhi and then Yanis, so interesting choices there. But again, I wanted them to tell me who was the greatest of all time, but he didn't seem to do the question properly. I might have to get my refund on that, I'm not gonna lie. Let me know what you guys thought. Like, his top five actually surprised me. I thought it was gonna be really bad. He's actually given some fair opinions there. And list pretty fair, or do you reckon there's a few changes you'd make? Let me know in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. There'll be more like this. This is something different. I hope to see you guys soon, so take care.